it's Jay. Welcome to the season two premiere of Ink TV. I'm coming to you from our Imaginarium right here in South Sacramento. You know, and I'm feeling kind of stuck. Sort of like these clocks, actually. I'm having what we call writer's block, which is when you're having trouble getting creative or getting inspired. So I need your help. And I also think I'm gonna call up my friend Betsida, who I know has some fantastic games that will help us get creative and inspired. Hey Betsida, how's it going? Hey Jay, good to see you. I'm good, what's up? You know, I'm feeling kind of stuck. I have some writer's block and I think that you have some improv games that might help me out. Absolutely. I totally get the feeling. I think that when we're stuck, it's a lot of times because we're afraid of making a mistake. We don't know what to do. We don't want it to be wrong. And improv is so great about teaching us that there are no mistakes, that it's just opportunities we can learn and we can try things and figure it out. So one of my favorite improv games that we can play today is called New Choice. So the way that New Choice works is We'll tell a story, you can tell a story, and uh, whenever I want, I will just say new choice, and you're gonna have to change the last thing that you just said. And so whatever you said before doesn't count. So if you said, once upon a time there was a bear, and I would say new choice. So now there's not a bear, there's a penguin. New choice, a, a dog, new choice, my grandma. And we keep telling a story about my grandma. You, you wanna try awesome. it? Awesome, yes, let's go for it. Okay, so do you want to tell the story and I will new choice you. Perfect. All right. Oh, I have to think. I have to wake up. Once upon a time, there was a bear. New choice. Once upon a time, there was a wallaby. New choice. Once upon a time, there was a lollipop. And its name was Trinket. And it loved to hang out with its friends and learn new TikTok dances. New choice. And it loved to hang out with its friends and make quilts. Yeah, and that's the game of new choice. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, I want you to go now. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, perfect. So, so you'll just new choice me. Yes, awesome. All right. So once upon a time, there was an evil queen. New choice. There was a pretty happy queen who uh, wanted everyone in the kingdom to be just as happy as she was. New choice. Who wanted everyone to be miserable so that she could be the happiest person in the kingdom. New choice. She wanted everyone to have HBO subscriptions. <laughs> I love being the new choice person because I feel like I have all the power. Yeah, it's really fun. I love when I'm the new choice person to kind of keep pushing someone until they say something that's like very different than everything else that they said, you know, because sometimes we'll get in that like everything I'm going to say is going to be an animal, but then get them to the point where like it's not an animal. It's like a person or a, a saying. And then that's when you really kind of like shake it up, you know. So that's one of my favorite games and hopefully it helps. The only thing I want to say is if you're going to play this with yourself or even if you're playing with someone else, just remember that every time that we say new choice, it's not saying that the other ideas were bad ideas. We're not judging those ideas. We're, it's just a way to create more ideas and to just kind of shake things up and, and get out of our own heads. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that game. I'm going to use that the next time I write. And actually, speaking of writing, but Saida, do you want to write with me? Yeah, I would love to. Fantastic. All right, so for those of you at home, I want you to write along with us. Today's prompt is called, the verb has been nouned. Okay, so nouns are people, places, or things. Verbs are actions that nouns perform. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. So I want you to get really creative with your sentences. Make verbs nouns and nouns verbs. Now I want you to write a poem with this fresh take on the English 
language. So get your piece of paper or your notebook and a pen or pencil. Go ahead and write that poem and come join us when you're ready to hear what we had to write. See you soon. Betsida, what did you write for your verb has been nouned poem? I wrote a poem that's, I, it, it's weird and I like it. It's, it's, it's a little personal. Yeah, can I read it to you? Absolutely. So I titled it Squirrel and it's Sometimes I Squirrel. I squirrel during calm, lazy, or worried. I often try to wolf. I can't wolf long. I always squirrel. Every listener move squirrels my attention. Leave your wolfing, it says. Bottle the glitter in the sky. It's not too bad to squirrel. Oh, wow. But Cider, that was, that really got me and it's very early this morning. So, wow, yes, beautiful. <laughs> I love the through line of the squirrel and wolf as two different nouns you turn into verbs. I love that so much. Hey, can I share mine? Yes, please do. All right. The jumping were all kangaroos to the same beat. Everyone was the newest TikTok dance learning. A boat harbor in the arrived. The alley down the cat walked. Turning were leaves into gold. She was feeling ready for the world. Oh, I love that. That was wonderful. I, Thank you. That's so that's so fun. The, just the images that that brings up. It's, it's such a fun way to write. I mean, it was hard, but it was really fun. Sometimes the best things and most fun things can be hard. Mm -hmm. Right? But that's okay, you know? Like, we can learn from those hard things, too. That's awesome. Hey, but Saida, I know you have a bunch of different improv classes online for adults and for kids. How can we find out more about your awesome improv classes? The easiest way is to follow me on Instagram, all the things I'm doing. So I'm at improv.betsida and you can find me on Instagram or you can find me at betsidalebron.com or my business is improveq. Org, um, because really what I, I try to do is to teach uh, individuals and teams to use their emotional intelligence to be more compassionate and accepting. And that's, I do that through play and through storytelling. Thank you so much for joining me today on this episode of Inc. TV. Hey, those watching at home, don't forget to like this video. And also, you see that red button right down about that way? Could you click subscribe for us so you don't miss out on any future videos? Awesome. All right, I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend, and thanks again for writing along with us. Bye, everyone.